Hi, I'm Oscar van Deventer and this is the Weird Disc 5x7. You can guess the name uh, 5 because we have a pentagon and 7 we have a heptagon. So this puzzle started when I worked on my other Weird Disc uh, puzzles. So what we have here is the Weird Disc 4x12 and here we have the Weird Disc 6x6. So the question was what goes in between? So in between 4 and 6 goes 5. However, if you do the math right, between 12 and 6 goes 7.5. So it couldn't be a flat puzzle. My solution uh, for not having it a flat puzzle is to make it slightly curved, so it's part of a sphere. And you see the outside here, and this is what the inside looks. And we can turn it like any of the other weird disc puzzles. So here we have one turn of the heptagon, we have another turn and here we have yet another turn and I'm really happy how well this puzzle turned out. It turns very smoothly, everything is rigidly in place, it's, uh, it's quite stable. So that's uh, really uh, um, well, a, a successful proof of concept of a disc uh, puzzle that is not flat but slightly curved. So what this puzzle is actually doing is it is part of a sphere. So um, if you would continue this and for instance uh, from this pentagon to this heptagon and another pentagon and another heptagon etc. You could go around the sphere. This is a hypothetical thing but I hope you can bear with me. And the question is would it be possible that when you have uh, pentagon, heptagon, pentagon, heptagon etc. Uh, would it be possible to make a loop on the sphere? Can you figure it out? Thank you for watching.